Tutorials.com. Hello, friends. It is Helix Patch release day. Wherever you are. <laughs> yes. Today, we're talking Marshall Plexi. So, Bradford and I, this has been a labor of love. This one has not come easy. We're racking our brains. I think we've gone yeah. through like five iterations. And we're yes, probably we back to one of the original four that we did. If we seem like our brains are fried right <laughs> now, it's because we have for days solid just been playing power chords <laughs> and, mm. and listening at full stage volume right in our ears. Yes. Uh, so this one is super versatile. We have all kinds of stuff in it. We have... And that's the goal. Multiple gain stages, including a button that you can press to not dime, but like crank that plexi amp. So you get like the pure Marshall overdrive experience. Uh, Minus then, the hair blowing back. <laughs> yeah, well... No, no Marty McFly scenarios here. That's up to you. Yeah, this one's really cool. Uh, and we've got... All kinds of reverb and delay options for you on this one. As per normal. Yeah. Uh, we went... I I have been on an 80s rock kick for some reason. Probably because that's what I grew up listening to. And we have a snapshot in here called Danger Zone. Uh, so if you use that, you need to play uh, Danger Zone. That's, that's the R prerequisite to you. At least once. It's pretty easy. You should figure it out if you don't know it. We have been waiting to do a plexi patch because... Yeah. 
our friend Jonathan Sullivan. You may know him as HW. We partner with him, Tone yes. Junkie. Um, he is the one that supplies these IRs, and we work with him, and we kind of tell him what we're looking for and stuff, and he had something in mind. Mm-hmm. Greenbacks. Yes. Greenbacks. From so, old Marshall cabs. Old. 69 and from 70. Like, one's from 69, one's from 70, yes. Yes. So you got some mojo. So mm -hmm. we got the way he's labeled them. G12H. Mm-hmm. G12M. They're Celestian Greenback speakers. Different ones, yeah. The G12H is mic'd with the 121 and 57. Mm -hmm. So the 121 tends to be, I think it's a little more balanced, right? Yeah, yeah. You, most people would think the Royer 121, it's a little darker. It's a little darker, but it's not rounder. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And then you have 57, which tends to give you a little bit more mid-range. Yeah. And then the G12M right. is mic'd. It's a brighter speaker. It, okay, so it's a brighter speaker that he mic'd with a fat head in an E906, which are going to give it's going to give you a little more warmer, and the 906 mm -hmm. has a little more of the low mids too. Yeah. So if you notice what I just said, we like basically there's four mics capturing like two different speakers. Yeah. Two, two four four mics across two different speakers capturing a handful of different frequencies. Yeah. And that's what we think sounds the most full and gives us a little yeah. bit of everything, and it gives you great cleans, but also give you great overdrive and. Great mid-range character. Yes, which is important. Yeah. Don't always so, think mid-range equals nasally tube screamer. Like, no. No. Yes. So that's what, it's literally in the middle. So it's what <laughs> gives the body. So this patch is available for uh, Helix, of course, Helix LT, uh, Native, the plug-in, you can use it. Um, there's a version available for HX Stomp and for Pod Go. And so in Pod Go, for example, uh, you can only have one IR. So you're going to get the G12H, because we feel like it sounds a little more balanced. Yeah. The G12M is really just adding a lot of, like, warmth and stuff. Um, but, you know, why don't we do this, Bradford? We'll make a decision in a moment. We'll include both IRs. Oh, look at that. I you was going to You can try that. them out. I was going to suggest You can that. pick your favorite. There but you unfortunately, go. in the Pod Go, you can't, uh, you can't run two at the same time. Yeah. Which is what we've done in the Helix, and we'll do it in the Stomp patch as well. If you want to get brave, you could could merge the files together. You could make your own IR that's a combination. Out of the IRs. Just Google that. Figure it out on your own. You may notice that there is extra gain in mm -hmm. your clean tone, clean tone, as yeah, in yeah. no overdrive pedals. Yeah. Maybe a little heavier than normal. You can tweak it. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to want to tweak that from the button that we assigned, though, if you want to lower the It'll the be in gain. the readme notes. In the readme notes. Yeah. But the, the magic of the Plexi is also like, use your volume knob. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. Give that a shot because what it does, I don't. It almost gives you like this pushback. This is here for a reason. Yes, and like it, different. Uh, the reason why I put a volume pedal after drives is because the volume pedal after drives is something different than the volume knob on your guitar. So it's like two different ways to control some things. Mm -hmm. Personally, on a, something like this, an amp where you have a little uh, too much drive on the the dry sound, the clean tone, the, the amp clean sound. Tone, yeah. Dialing back your volume knob from ten to like eight. Eight and a mm -hmm. half helps. Now, if you don't have a treble bleed, it also probably warms things up. Yeah, that's what you're going for. That's right? what I was going for. Yeah. If you don't have a treble bleed, uh, it'll warm it up a little bit. If you do, I, I personally don't prefer treble bleeds. I feel like that's the magic of the tone. The obvious. purists don't like it. Yeah. Because yeah. like, well, some, I don't know. It depends. It, it's kind of weird. When you roll your volume back, you lose a little high end. That can be a good thing sometimes. Yeah, and that's what I would prefer to do. And then mm -hmm. you you make things a little brighter, anyways. But. Just know that if you think there's a lot of gain, maybe consider adjusting like the, the level on the compressor or yeah. dialing back the volume knob first yeah. because that's the magic and the deliciousness and, and the taste of the Plexi. That's right. We really do try and find the sweet spots mm -hmm. of these amps. And they exist. Like you turn it, you turn the gain down too much and everything sounds weak yeah. and anemic and it's like where's the, where's the bass in the mid-range? You turn up the gain and it's like... There it is. Yeah. Links below to download this patch for whatever Line 6 HX hardware that you have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Brad Follow the Instagram account. Yes. Brad is our social media manager. Doing a fantastic job there. He will delight your senses with all sorts of guitarings and worship leaderings from, from our Instagram account. Hey, uh, we have... A lot. We actually have quite a few more Helix patches up our sleeve. We're just kind of tweaking them out. We are spending a lot of time on them these days. Yeah, we want to make them special. They need to be amazing for so us to release them. They're coming soon. Be on the lookout. Thank you, guys. Bye.